The TI Inspire and TI Inspire CAS apps on the iPad provide quick and easy ways to enter information and use built-in templates and functions. Here in the home screen, let's start a new TI Inspire document by tapping the plus icon in the upper left corner and adding Calculator. The Calculator workspace opens with the TI Inspire keyboard at the bottom. You can switch between the TI Inspire keyboard and the traditional alphanumeric keyboard by tapping the ABC icon just above the keyboard on the left side. Tap the F of X button just to the left of that to switch back to the TI Inspire keyboard. Let's start by evaluating a sum. I'll use the built-in sum template by tapping the sum button in the lower left corner. I'd like to find the sum of n squared plus 1 when n ranges from 1 to 5. By default, the cursor is already in the variable area below the sigma symbol, so I'll press the n variable icon at the bottom of the keyboard to start. To move to the lower bound, I'll tap the right arrow button just above the keyboard on the right side, and then press 1. This time I'll jump up to the upper bound by tapping directly on that empty box above the sigma to move the cursor, and then I'll press 5 to enter the upper bound. Now I'll tap the right arrow key again and enter n, then the x squared key, followed by plus 1. To evaluate this sum, I'll press the Enter key to see that the sum of n squared plus 1, when n ranges from 1 to 5, is 60. Now let's calculate the sine of 90 degrees. I'll press the Sine button and then type 90. Notice that some of the buttons in the keyboard have blue bars along the top of the button. This means there are additional functions hiding underneath them. Let's use one now. I'll evaluate the sine of 90 by touching and holding the Enter key to see the commands available. One of them is the approximate symbol. Without taking my finger off the screen, I'll drag it over to that button and then let go to approximate this answer. As you can see, I'm currently in radian mode, and that's not the sine of 90 degrees, which is what I was after. Let's use a shortcut to grab the previous entry and then make sure we evaluate 90 degrees instead of radians. Tap the up arrow key just above the keyboard on the right side twice until sine of 90 is highlighted and you see some options appear. Tap paste history to drop that right back down into the entry line of the calculator. Now tap the left arrow or use your finger to tap and place the insertion point inside the right parenthesis. To enter the degree symbol, tap the angle key just to the right of the tangent, and you'll see the degree symbol appear inside the parentheses, just to the right of 90. Now, to evaluate the sine of 90 degrees, tap the Enter key to get the correct value of 1.